You are reflecting over all this? No. No, or yes? Yes. <laughs> what we would do is take, uh, you know, the questions that have come to your mind. So we will do, start with that and then try to sum up what we have discussed yesterday and then we will proceed. So let us see if there are questions. Yes. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> this morning I was uh, trying to contemplate on the subject that we discussed yesterday and then the homework that you have given us and uh, the question that I will be raising is uh, out of five minutes uh, thinking against the 45 years of contemplation that we have done and then got the answer. So sometimes uh, I feel a little uh, embarrassed to ask such questions, but I think it is equally important for all of us to get clarified from the beginning. Uh, when you asked about the happiness, so I was trying to think on the happiness. What does it mean by happiness? And then, then happiness... Uh, is a very subjective experience which is difficult to explain or measure and uh, it's a more of a mental and then there is a on the self-exploration the first thing that we asked yesterday was a desire so I thought that desire whether desire itself is a is a natural acceptance to I or a self why do I have desire? This is the question that I, it came on my head. Because when we talk about the happiness first, the happiness, why we are talking about happiness? Because we are saying that desire for happiness. So then is desire our natural uh, acceptance? Why? Then is it a, is, is it a mutual happiness? or a mutual prosperity. So I was concentrating on the desire itself. And then when I talked of the desire, then is desire a natural acceptance? So then I was focusing on the natural acceptance. What does it mean by natural acceptance? So then there was a glass of water on my table in the morning. So if I pour a water, the same ingredient quality of the water into the glass of water, which water is already there, so that is that a natural acceptance? Then I said yes, because the same quality of water is there. But if I pour some kind of a different colors of the water into the uh, glass of the water, then it's not a natural acceptance because it is different color. It's a different quality. So likewise, I was trying to give examples of the plastics. Is plastic a natural acceptance to the soil? We say obviously no. So then I was asking, is natural accept this is desire a natural acceptance to self? If it is so, then we should have the all same kind of a desire. And some are less uh, less desire, some have more desire. But then, when we refer I and a self, does that mean that we are referring to a desire? Then I thought that was something not uh, uh, not uh, natural. Because desire is the outcome of <coughs> self from the desire. So the question that we you have given to us is: Is the happiness uh, is a natural acceptance to us? We all said yesterday yes. So then I was feeling that this happiness is not a natural acceptance to me. <laughs> or, or, so this is the question that uh, I would like to ask that. Uh, Desiring for happiness is not your natural acceptance to self because I, because the desire itself is not a natural acceptance to me. So how do we, how do I explain this? So this is the question that I have. Thank you.
Yeah, this is uh, you know, quite important. In many of these traditions, it, uh, this was quite, you know, uh, realized that the physical facilities and the sensation to the body cannot be a source of continuity of happiness. This was a realization and therefore they started investigating into the possibility of what is going to be the source of continuity of happiness. <coughs> this was a conclusion which was drawn quite early. I will just write this down that the physical things coming in contact with the senses of the body this gives rise to sensation which is tested by the self possibilities. If this is favorable sensation, then it leads to happiness. You feel happy. If this turns out to be unfavorable or undesirable, then it leads to unhappiness. So this is the model of happiness that most of us are following. Right? So if you look at this animal consciousness that we were talking about yesterday, right? The model that is followed for ensuring continuity of happiness is this. That if I have the physical facility and if the <coughs> physical facilities come in contact with my senses of the body, right, I will get certain sensations which when I test okay, and I find it favorable, I feel happy. If I find it unfavorable, I feel unhappy. <coughs> so many of the traditions have been able to realize that this process of trying to ensure continuity of happiness does not work. This cannot ensure continuity of happiness. <coughs> Is that clear? So, if you are trying to achieve continuity of happiness, by this process, it is bound to fail. Because yesterday we had mentioned that if we try this process, okay, it goes through this. Initially, it sounds necessary and tasty. After some time, it will become unnecessary. Like the example of Rasgulla we had taken, right? If you still continue up to the neck, right? It becomes unnecessary and tasteless. Mm. And if you still continue, it becomes intolerable.
with anything you try. Okay? <coughs> for example, if you have a feeling of respect for someone and you express that feeling of respect, it, there you want the continuity. But suppose in order to express his respect, okay, he comes and shakes hands with you and holds your hand right, and does not leave. What will happen? <laughs> you will go through this process, right? <laughs> if he is not leaving your hand and just holding it, okay, then you will have to start shouting for help. <laughs> So I was saying that if somebody has a feeling of respect for you, you want the continuity, the feeling of respect. But if he expresses this feeling by way of shaking his hands with you, right, and he holds your hand, then what will happen? After some time you will reach here, right, and you start, you know, shouting for help. So anything which you do through physical senses, okay, if you try the continuity of it, after some time it will become intolerable. So this has been one realization of many of the traditions, right, that this will not lead to continuity of happiness, right. So there, you know, many traditions have tried different ways. One of the ways which have been tried is that because we are trying to achieve happiness through this process and it is creating problems, right? then what do we do? Get rid of these problems. Don't involve <coughs> yourself into this process. So we said your very expectation of favorable and unfavorable sensation is what is creating problems. Right? So don't have any expectation. So instead of getting happiness, you are getting unhappiness. Right? Because there is no continuity of happiness. So a better thing to do would be not to have any expectation. So that was one possible way which was tried. I want to have a very tasty food, you know, and when my wife cooks the food and for some reason it is not of the same taste as was my expectation, right, then I become unhappy because that's my only source of happiness, right, and so I get unhappy about it and then I shout at the child, the wife, the wife also gets unhappy, right, and there is unhappiness everywhere. So, a better thing to do would be, you know, not to have any expectation of the test. This was one method which was tried. Okay. So, if I don't have any expectation of a particular test, then irregard of what my wife cooks, it is okay. It does not lead to unhappiness. So, and no fight and no, you know, further expansion of this unhappiness. But what we are saying here is that this is not enough. With that to indulge into this is not enough. And trying to get rid of this is also not enough. <coughs> the role of this physical facility and this center is important to keep your body in good health. For nurturing of the body, for protection of the body. And in that sense, it is important. So it is neither to be overemphasized nor to be undermined. It has some specific implication which we can understand. And what is that implication? Through senses, I can find out what is good for my body, what is not good for my body. So, this is for nurturing of the body, ensuring the health of the body. It is not something to be overemphasized or underemphasized. 
This is not the program of action to ensure continuity of happiness. That is the mistake we have made. Then what is the program of action to ensure continuity of happiness? That is to ensure right understanding and right feeling. There we want continuity. And there is possibility of continuity there. So that is what we have you know, tried to you know, draw your attention towards yesterday. That when it comes to happiness, right, the program of action would be to ensure right understanding okay, and right feeling which leads to my happiness and also happiness of the other. That is the program of action to ensure continuity of happiness. This physical thing is important okay, to keep my body in good health. It may also be useful in communicating with the other. So, one is to keep in good health, the other is to communicate with the other. But these two things, the physical facility and the senses are important and useful. But not to ensure continuity of happiness in you and in your relationship with others. So, you can see, this is has to be properly placed, neither under-emphasized nor over-emphasized. So, what we have done in many of the traditions is that first we over-emphasized it. We thought that continuity of happiness cannot, can be ensured by this. So, we tried best, level best. And this is what modern civilization is trying still. Modern civilization is still trying with this. Many of the traditions have already realized that this does not work. It cannot ensure continuity of happiness. In that sense, many of these traditional civilizations are far more mature than the modern civilization, which is still trying on this. That's the model, right? What do you think? Your modern education, the modern society, is it trying with this or it has realized that this will not work? So, yesterday when Umesh was telling that the expectation of the you know, call students, the parents, right? everybody is to say, you know, have a professional education whereby he can get good job, you know, get good salary. So, where will you place it? Here. In essence, this is what we are trying. What we are saying, this does not work to ensure continuity of happiness. But then, we are also saying that trying to get rid of this process also does not work. Because it has certain importance. It is important for keeping our body in good health. Right? So, this physical facility are useful to keeping our body in good health. These senses are useful right, to find out what is good for my body, what is not good for my body. Like, how do you decide something has got rotten and you cannot eat it? By the taste, right? by the smell, by the, you know, the sight, you can see that it has got degenerated, right? So, all these senses are useful in that sense. Similarly, to communicate, we use senses. So, when I am speaking something, you know, I am using my body. When you are listening to it, you are using your body, your senses, right? So, that is useful in that sense, keeping the body in good health and to communicate. But it is not good enough to ensure continuity of happiness. So, many of these traditions who came to this conclusion, they said, don't have any expectation. Don't have any desire because that is what is creating unhappiness. Then what do we do? That is not very clear. This will not work. This was very clear. It's the whole modern society is trying now. This was already realized that this will not work to ensure continuity of happiness. But then, 
to get rid of this will also not work. Because this is not the real issue. This has certain very specific purpose and that can be fulfilled. And that is to keep the body in good health. And the animal is already doing it. <laughs> so in that sense, animal are better than us. <laughs> they are at least doing this, you know, ensuring the good health of the body by way of using their senses. Is that true or not? Yeah. So that's the way to keep the body in good health, which animals are already doing. This cannot be the source of continuity of happiness. Then what is going to be the source of continuity of happiness? Our proposal yesterday was to have the right understanding and right feeling. That is what is required. And if you look at the definition of happiness, it becomes clear from that again. That if I look into myself, I find that whenever I am in harmony within, I am in a state of happiness. Whenever I am in harmony with outside, I am in a state of happiness. Whenever there is a disharmony, whenever there is a contradiction, I am in a state of unhappiness. So though it is an issue of mental, you know, state of yours, but this mental state can be understood, right? It can be defined. It is certainly talking about the mental state, but then we can talk about it, we can understand it, we can explain it to the other. It is not something which is mysterious in nature, that you cannot talk, you cannot discuss not share. So, it is something which I can hold on to. It is something which is very real for me. It is not physical, but it is real. It's another belief, right? We have come to believe that only what is physical is real. But if you look at yourself, right? Yourself, you know, is real. Because that matters to you, isn't it? Your state of happiness, unhappiness is real for you. <coughs> it is not physical. The body is physical and it is real. The self is not physical, it is real. Both of them are real. Or you think self is unreal. Self also is a reality. The body is also a reality, right? therefore I have to understand both the reality and I have to take care of both the reality. The reality of the self, the mind and reality of the body. Is that true? You have to take care of both the reality of self and the reality of body or taking care of the body alone is enough. Sorry. Now, getting a little bit of blessing from Dasho, <laughs> I am tilted towards the uh, so called our belief of reincarnation. If you believe self and body right now, when we are living in this world, yes, uh, both self and the body is real. But uh, my understanding, going to some books and listening to some teachers, self will remain. We do not know how long, how, how many centuries, but the body ceases. My body will cease, 
and if Jimmy Zampo has done good job, maybe Jimmy Zampo will come in different form. <laughs> maybe cow, <laughs> maybe butter. So, from that perspective, I, I have a doubt on continuity in body. I don't know whether it is just disturbing your flow uh, of discussion because when I try to connect the uh, next slide, the body is disconnecting. Okay. If I'm lucky, I will be reborn next day. So there will be continuity in your body. But if I'm born, if I am born after five years, there's a discontinuity. I don't know. Yeah. In the study that, you know, um, in fact, the, uh, when we study further, we see that one contrasting difference between the need of the body and the need of the self is that the need of the body is temporary in nature and the need of the self is continuous in nature. Very simple people, you know, examples you will take and study. For example, food. Can you eat food continuously? No. It is related to the need of the body. It is temporary in nature. But what about respect? Meaning of respect is desire with continuity or with temporariness? Continuity. So we will see that. No. That if you look at the cell, need of the cell, it is continuous in nature. If you look at the need of the body, it is temporary. Similarly, if you look at the activity of the cell, is continuous. Right? For example, thinking. The thinking takes place continuously. You keep thinking or you can stop thinking. So, that is continuous. But any activity that you are taking from the body, okay, eating, walking, all this, you cannot ensure the continuity of it. After some time, the body will get tired and you will have to give rest to it. So that we will study and then we will be able to see that one has this nature of a continuity, the other has this nature of you know, temporality, but it is temporary in nature. So that we will study, this nature of the self and the nature of the body. And on the basis of that then we can make some meaningful conclusion. So all this you know slowly will have to be unfolded. So, I will complete with your, his question then. So, I was saying that this happiness is something which is real for me. The self is something real for me. And therefore, I must understand. I must understand what is happening. I cannot leave it just, you know, thinking that it is not physical. But therefore, let not get into it. It is real. In fact, most of the things that we are doing is doing for happiness. So it is so real. All these real things, so-called real things, you know, physical things, you are doing in order to get happiness, isn't it? You are, you know, earning lot of money and then buying lot of clothes, making a big house, big car. All this is you are doing to get respect from others. And out of this respect, you want to get happiness. What else? At the end of it, what do we get? Happiness or unhappiness? <laughs> <laughs> like I keep asking people that when you go to a party, you know, with an exclusive dress, right? You are expecting that it will create respect in the mind of the other. What happens? Does it create respect or jealousy? <laughs> so you might end up getting unhappiness instead of happiness. But the target was to get happiness. So it is something very real for us. And therefore we must know what happiness is. We must be able to see what happiness is. So I am saying it is something real. Right. Of course it is not physical. It is mental. But it is something very concrete for us, something very real for us, and we need to understand it. And we are saying it can be defined. 
So we have made this definition. And we are asking you to look into and find out whether this definition of happiness works good for you or it does not hold good for you. When are you in a state of happiness? When you are in harmony 